2015 R1 allows us to create a library of tool holders and aggregates. These tool holders or aggregates can either be extruded or revolved geometry or solids. So here we see a solid holder in eDrawings that we're going to import in AlphaCam, create in our library and then add it to the top of a tool. Now for a demonstration. I'm going to go to the Home tab and in here I have Input CAD. I'm going to input a SOLIDWORKS file and I've got a solid here of a HSK tool holder. The 000 is at the end of the tool holder where the top of the tool will be. I'm going to rotate this solid so I'm going to go to the Edit tab, rotate everything on the screen, rotate about the x-axis 90 degrees, one copy. I'm now going to go to my Machine tab and in here I have a new command, Define Holder Aggregate. I'm going to define a standard holder, pick tool holder graphics, in this case a solid. Where do I want the top of the tool to be? Well I want that to be at 0, 0, 0. And now where, I, where do I want the point for machine gauge line where this holder fits into the spindle nose? With the new graphical user interface we'll see that snaps are always come available when required. So I'm going to come to the arc center of here. I've now got a new folder within my Lycom DAT called Holders ALP. And here we have our holders, of which the extension is .a tool holder. I'm going to put this tool holder on the top of a solid tool. So if I look at my Layers tab on my Project Manager pane, here I can see that I've got a solid part. You'll notice with the new ribbon bar GUI, Graphical User Interface, that the Project Manager has been updated. So I'm now going to go and define a tool. What sort of tool is it? Well, it's a drill. What's my tool number, offset number? I know the length of the solid is 65. The diameter is 6. And the cone angle is 118. I'm going to put some fixed speeds and speeds in here. And I'm now going to go to simulation. This is divided into two areas. At the top, we have the tool simulation. and At the bottom, we have the new holder simulation. So this is not a simple tool. It's a solid tool. And my tool holder, I'm going to select from library. Select my tool. tool tip, which is 000, and now it's asking me for my holder, which is my HSK holder. I have a preview on the right, and here we have the two tool previewed for me. If I say OK to that, I can now save this tool away. I'm now going to use that tool that we've just defined 
to drill some holes. If you see the holes that I've got on the screen, just note that they've got geometry Z levels at different depths. So I'm now on the already on the machine ribbon, so I'm going to select a tool. Go to my folder. This is the one that I defined. We get a preview. I'm going to go to drill tap holes, auto Z, pecking. A new command that we have in AlphaCam 2015 R1 to help us with drill ordering is maintain geometry order. So if I switch this on, it's going to give me the same order as the geometries. If I say OK to this, peck distance of 2, all and finish. If I right click and do a simulation and play, see the tool moving and rotating. So this is going to drill the holes in the same order as the geometries were created. If I stop the simulation, I can show this by going to the view ribbon, display options, and showing the geometry rapids and the toolpath rapids. And we can see that they're the same. Let's switch these off again. If I go to the operations pane of the project manager and I right click and edit, I can switch maintain geometry order off. And this will try to do some improved ordering for me. And what this is now going to do is all the same holes the same size, but it's also going to bring together the same geometry Z level depth. This will mean that I'll have as few account cycles as possible in my NC code. If I right click, I can do a solid simulation and see my solid tool with its tool holder. Next, we're going to define an aggregate, and in this case, we're going to define a vector head so the angle of the tool can be set and locked in position. So first of all, I want to rotate to make that position. So I'm going to go to the Edit tab, Rotate, select what I want to rotate, finish, about this axis, minus 45 degrees. What I also need is a circle with a work plane. The work plane Z direction represents the direction of the tool. So I'm going to go to my work planes tab, select a work plane from solid model face, I'm going to set my work plane origin. And I'm going to go to the Geometry tab, draw a circle, diameter of 10, which is unimportant, and I'm going to place that at 0, 0. I'm going to cancel the work plane from my command that I put on my Quick Access Toolbar. And now I'm ready to go to the Machine tab and define Holder Aggregate. I can have fixed or rotating aggregates. Pick tool holder graphics is everything apart from my circle and my line. 
pick my reference circle and the gauge point for the machine which is the arc center of here. Save it away and I'm going to call this vector head Next I need to define a tool to use with my new vector head aggregate. So I'm going to define a tool, a flat, tool number, offset number, length of the tool is 40, diameter is 10, depth of cut 10. I'm going to put some fixed speeds and feeds. So the nice thing here is we can put a restriction on the spindle speed for example. I'm now going to go to the simulation. I've now got a simple tool and again I'm going to pick from library which is my vector head. Here we can see a preview. What do I want to call this? Or well, 10 millimeter vector head. I now want to use my tool with the aggregate, so I'm going to go to the machine tab, select the tool, and I get a preview. I'm now going to go to pocketing, auto Z on selected, select my geometries, spin it round to do the other side, again pocketing on selected my tool paths are created I'm going to cancel my work plane for my quick access toolbar if I right click and do a simulation and play I can see my path being simulated with my aggregate at 45 degrees So this gives me better visualization and also checks for collisions with my aggregate. So to summarize tool holders and aggregates in AlphaCam 2015 R1 we can create a library of tool holders and aggregates in our holder folder in Lycom Dat with a file extension of a tool holder. We can set the default holder from a library. Before it was just a simple holder, but now what we can do is we can set it from the library. and we can also orientate tool perpendicular to the profile. There is also a neat trick working with these aggregates. What I have on this part here is I have a two-axis tool path that cuts exactly on the center of this fillet. So if I go to my simulation we can see the tool moving round and the center of the tool is cutting the center of that fillet which I've achieved by setting my Z depth and a negative offset. Well if I go to the operations tab of my project manager I can edit and change my tool and I'm going to pick up my vector head. Well, if I right click and simulate again, we can see the tool running at a fixed angle. However, if I go to the operation and I right click, I've got a new command, orientate tool perpendicular to profile. 
just apply this if I right click simulation and play we can see that the tip of the tool is now cutting that chamfer and this functionality is available in the advanced module of AlphaCam.